So today's video is going to be about all the new faces that you guys have sent me, plus the ones that I found in gameplay and the trailers released yesterday. Let's get 300 likes on this video, and if you're new around here, this is the number one place for player faces on YouTube, so make sure you tap the subscribe button today and the notification bell, and you won't be disappointed. So if you did miss the video a few hours ago, I uploaded a FIFA 19 demo gameplay video, so make sure you check it out. Um, at the end of that, we had like a cutscene where there was a Europa League final celebration, and Laporte was actually holding the trophy for Manchester City, and I was looking at it, and I was like, wait a second, that is a new face update for Laporte, and... I checked with FIFA 18 and it definitely is one and you can see that the shaved sides of his head um, are different in FIFA 18 to FIFA 19 so it's just a slight little tweak of the face but still a decent update for a good career mode player. On one of those Brazilian journalist websites they put up an article where they talked about playing FIFA 19 and they put a few images there and you could see Pogba in the background had a little bit of a hair update. Now someone was able to zoom in and enhance the image a little bit and you can see that the hairstyle has definitely been updated compared to FIFA 18. FIFA 18, there was no color in the hair. It was all pretty much shaved, very short. FIFA 19, they've extended the hair and they've added like a blonde strip as well. So it looks pretty cool. We have another Man United player that got a new face and that is Victor Lindelof. Last year, he transferred to United, but of course, EA usually have to delay it a year before we see the face update in a FIFA game. Finally, the time has come. We get a new face for Lindelof now in FIFA 19. He was in the same image as Pogba, but I just decided to split them both up. Another big face update is Sergio Ramos. Now, he was featured in one of the club's clips for FIFA 19, but this is the best photo we have of him at the moment. It's a little bit blurry, but you can still see the outline of, of his face, his beard and stuff. Now, the FIFA 18 photo is on the left. And I think the FIFA 19 image does look a little bit different, especially the haircut. It's definitely not the same hairstyle. Um, even the beard looks a little bit different. I think he looks more like a Sergio Ramos in FIFA 19 now. So the face has definitely changed in my opinion. And this is a nice little update. We have a new face for Mendy now who plays for Manchester City. And he transferred over a season ago. And of course, just like Lindelof, EA didn't update the face until the next game. And we have a new face for him in FIFA 19 now. And uh, yeah, he's in the celebration. You can see him on the right. I'll put an arrow there just so you guys can see it, but it's definitely a new face. The next new face is for Danilo, who plays for Manchester City. Now, this one is a little bit blurry, but he was a part of a team photo in one of the gameplay videos. And uh, you can see that the first image does look like the generic face, but I take a look at the side profile, and I notice that the nose is different, and the haircut is a little bit more shaved in the FIFA 19 image. So I'm saying that that is a real face. A few other people have told me it is a real face as well. I don't think it looks like the generic face. So until we get a better image, that is all I have to work with at the moment for that one. And that means that most of the Manchester City squad now have real faces in the main team. And you can see a picture there. Most of them do have real faces now. So although some of them are a little bit bad, still like Aguero, I wish uh, he got updated as well as Walker as well. Um, not very good faces. They need an update. I don't know why they don't want to update them, but <laughs> I guess it's good that we have more quantity coming to the game as well. Now, I showed you guys this new face a few months ago when FIFA 19 Atletico Madrid gameplay was leaked. And today, I'm just going to remind you guys as well because there has been a new image that came out, and that is for Jimenez. He does have a real face now in uh, FIFA 19. He plays for Atletico Madrid. You can see the image on the right was supplied by SPBB LFC 88 New. Thank you to him for showing me the new faces. You guys should follow him on Instagram as well if you want to see some new faces. But as you can see, Jimenez is in the away kit, the blue top there. And that face is definitely a new one. It doesn't look like the generic face anymore, which is a good thing. And SPB has also supplied this photo. It is a Bora from Leicester City. Now, I know this one is probably the most blurriest one of them all. But I think, and people have been telling me that this is a real face. Uh, obviously, the generic face in FIFA 18 does have the beard, and the FIFA 19 one does have the beard, so it's very hard to tell because it's that blurry. But um, I can just see the hairline where it starts, and there's like a little uh, little curve or something there on the forehead, and I think that's going to be the main difference here. I think that is a real face. I think I'm going to lock in a real face. Now, this one is for the Spurs fans. We have a new face for Davidson Sanchez, and uh, we can only see the back of the head right now. And the generic face does have some sort of mohawky looking type hair, but the FIFA 19 image is definitely a little bit more uh, narrower in terms of the mohawk. And uh, I think it's been confirmed by a news outlet that played FIFA 19 recently that he does have a new face. And we're going to be talking about that news outlet very, very soon at the end of the video, so make sure you stay tuned. But yeah, I can confirm that this is a new face. This next face has divided the Starhead community a little bit. It's very hard to tell because of the blurriness. 
but it is Leon Goretzka. We don't know if it's a custom or a generic face, but to me it doesn't really look like the FIFA 18 generic face, so maybe they've just added in new types of generic faces and that's one of them. Um, but taking a look at the real life photo, I think the nose looks similar and the haircut as well a little bit. You can see in the FIFA 19 image he does have like a shaved part of the head near his ear. So I don't know yet, it's too early to call for me. But there is a 442 magazine, which is an Australian magazine for football, that did get to play FIFA 19 early. And they released this article and they said that um, uh, Dortmund and Bayern suffer from similar generic itis with Roman Berkey, Maximilian Phillips, Sandro Wagner, Leon Goretzka, Nicholas Sewell to name just five still lacking scans. So they reckon that it's not a real face and they've played the actual demo already. So I guess we'll have to go with what they say, but I still have that glimmer of hope that maybe they got it wrong. We have another photo, and this one is for Oblak from Atletico Madrid. This one is a really nice and clear one that basically confirms what we've known for a few months now, that he does have a new face in FIFA 19. Uh, the other images we had were sort of blurry, but we had enough evidence to say that he had a real face, but this one really just puts 100% confirmation on it. It looks really good. I'm very excited for this guy to get a real face because he's one of the highly rated goalkeepers in FIFA 18 without a real face. So with this real face in FIFA 19, I think he's going to be a good career mode signing. Now this new face you probably haven't seen yet, this is a pre-order bonus, it's a foot icon, his name is Tarzan, and uh, you know how Pez does Usain Bolt and stuff, FIFA have adopted that, they've put in Tarzan now, oh wait, wait, no that's not right, that's uh, actually Cavani, so that's a very bad joke what I did there, but I know a few people have called him Tarzan in the comment section, so I always laugh when I see it, his old FIFA 18 face did sort of look like that. Um, a little bit, but uh, Cavani definitely does have a new face now. You can see the difference. A very nice and clear image for the FIFA 19 photo on the right. And uh, yeah, longer hair now, I guess. The hair looks more real. And uh, yeah, not bad. Let me know what you think. Now, this new face is very hard to call, so I'm still not 100% sure. But Mbappe has been reported to have a new face. Um, it's more of a face update, not really a whole complete new face change. But... I guess it's possible because they did update Cavani and Lachelsa has a new face now. We also have a few other PSG players to take a look at still. Um, I think there's not enough evidence to really 100% confirm it. But I do think the hair looks a little bit different. And that's all I can really say about it at the moment. I want to thank Tio underscore Omar for this one. You can follow him on Twitter. Uh, he put this image together and basically reckons that Areola from PSG, who is a goalkeeper, one of the reserve ones, has a new face in FIFA 19. And basically, in the images underneath, uh, they're the FIFA 19 ones that came from either a gameplay or something like that. The top ones are the FIFA 18 one, and he's basically put them side by side to compare. And you can see that there is a shaved head now in the FIFA 19 one, and Areola does have some sort of a shaved head as well in real life. But once again, very, very blurry, very hard to confirm at the moment. But I guess there is a possibility that this is a new face. Now, back in June, I confirmed that Rabio did look a little bit different, but we still weren't sure whether it was a real face or not because the photo was very blurry. But today, we have a better, clearer photo, and I still think that Rabio looks a little bit funny. On the right is the FIFA 19 one, on the left is FIFA 18. FIFA 18 is well off. It's a generic face for sure. Uh, we have the real life photo in the middle, and Rabio in FIFA 19 on the right. Now, FIFA 19's one doesn't look that accurate. It looks a little bit funny, to be honest. doesn't really look like Rabio. So this either is a custom or still a generic face. Um, it's definitely not a scan. This bit of FIFA 19 new faces news is very crucial. You guys need to listen to this. I got this from 442, which is an Australian football magazine. They tested our FIFA 19 and they released this article about it. The title says, Facial likenesses seem Premier League focused again. So they were talking about FIFA 19 and their experience. And they said these exact words. They said, we get to play as nine teams as part of our hands-on and can't resist spending 20 minutes searching for new player faces. These star heads are a colossal deal for the FIFA community and our results will delight Spurs fans. First teamers Davinson Sanchez and Serge Aurier have both been uh, scanned for the first time. So that means Aurier is confirmed with a new face as well. We haven't seen that yet. And they said that it looks great. Alongside youngsters Jay Foff, Tashan Oakley Booth and Anthony Georgiou. So a few player names that got dropped there confirmed to have new faces in FIFA 19 that we haven't seen yet. So I'll be looking forward to seeing those ones. They also included a second paragraph about it which says, News from outside the Premier League is less promising. Atletico Sal receives a long-awaited official likeness and we confirmed that a few months ago. Yet teammate Sime Versalajko remains distressingly bland featured, so technically a generic face, and we confirmed that a few months ago too. 
They also include this sentence. They said, both Borussia Dortmund and Bayern suffer from similar generic itis with Roman Berkey, Maximilian Philipp, Sandro Wagner, Leon Goretzka, and Nicolas Sul, to name just five still lacking scans. So basically, these guys have played FIFA 19. They can tell us who's got the real faces, who hasn't. And they've said that Goretzka doesn't have a real face. The last bit of FIFA 19 new faces news comes from Birmingham City. Now, I don't know how I found this. I just searched FIFA 19 on Twitter, and this guy came up. His name's Roy, and he says, That's a wrap. The end of a long day filming and snapping Sky Sports, FIFA 19, and BCFC player profiles. Look out for the picks in the match day program, Sky Televised Games, and our big screen at St. Andrews. Now, I'm not sure what exactly he's done for FIFA 19. I do think he means the mini faces. You know the real life photos you see in team management for different types of players? I think he's done them. I don't think he's scanned the players for the game. Uh, but I guess it's just a little bit of FIFA 19 news to throw in as well at the end of the video. So I think we've covered all the new faces found over the last two days in FIFA 19. If you're new around here, make sure you subscribe because we're going to be doing more FIFA 19 videos. This is the number one place for player faces as well. And if you want to watch another FIFA 19 video, tap the thumbnail on your screen right now. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, tap the VK icon underneath the thumbnail. And I'll see you next time.